everybody, Mrs. Williams here. I have my cameraman with me, Mr. Stewart. Say hey. Hello. Um, so we are here for the advanced through uh, first degree black belt class. Thank you for joining us online. Uh, we certainly miss everybody. Um, I just can't wait till we're back together again. Um, I hope you're training hard and training safe. So for you, this would be week seven out of our curriculum, uh, we're back to self-defense week. Woo-hoo! Woo um, so we'll be working a lot of your self-defense this week. Um, we'll include the knife uh, and the gun for event leadership. Um, but this date-wise, it would be April the 13th through the 18th. So I hope you would have had a wonderful Easter um, if we're watching this. Yes, um, so we're going to get right to it. First up will be formalities and then a warm up. So your challenge is to create a five minute workout. Just remember next month or April is April. It is April. So it's April, so goals for your education. Uh, so work those at home, but also you need to work towards your physical fitness patch. And as a way to do that, I want you to create a five minute warm up for yourselves. Uh, certainly video it and share it um, out there on Facebook, um, or you can email me and I can uh, put it out there on Facebook. That way you can share your workout uh, with everybody else. And when we're back in class, bring your workout with you. We're always looking for uh, ways to mix up the warm ups and everything. Ninja Run only carries you so far, especially right. for a for our advanced students. So if you've got a good warm up, warm up and some exercises, just volunteer. Yeah, we'll get you out front and we let everyone try it out. We encourage, um, we would love to see your creativity with your warm up. So our formality, are you ready, sir? Yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Are you ready? I think they're ready. I think I, think I heard that. They're excited. So everybody come to attention. And bow. Half turn to the flag, ready, turn. Hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come to attention. Stamp. Bounce your respect. Half turn to the front. Ready, turn. At ease. Student oath. I will develop focus, intensity, and discipline through my study of American freestyle karate. I will be an example of leadership, courtesy, and respect for everyone I meet and invite them to join me in my quest for black belt excellence. I will be honorable and loyal to my God, my family, my country, and my instructors. I will remain goal-oriented, motivated, and dedicated and always choose to do my best in all I strive to achieve. Come to attention. Smith. Bound show respect. Down on one knee. Smith. All right, bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together uh, for another week of online training. Uh, help keep us safe and protected. Um, and I thank you for sending your healing for all those battling illness, recovering from surgery and injury. Uh, again, please help us um, to be a shining light uh, for all those that are in need. Um, and also uh, to provide your protection over the world um, as we are trying to wind down um, this virus. Uh, thank you for always being here and guiding us in the manner uh, in which we need to go. Um, again, thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Yep. All right. So are you ready at home? Are you ready? I think they're ready. They say I they're heard ready. it. I heard it. So we miss you guys. We really do. So for advance, the first technique for your self-defense this week is the sleeper choke. All right. So for the sleeper choke, to... Oh, no, oh. I'm, I'm going to put you in a sleeper choke. Oh, no. All right, so turn and face me. So to put into a sleeper choke, so we'll face this way, I'm going to take this hand. I am taking my right hand. I am pushing on Mr. Stewart's left shoulder. So my right to his left. As I push, I'm going to be pulling the other shoulder. 
shoulder in. He's going to turn around. And if I get on my tippy toes, because I'm short, um, my elbow, the crook of my elbow when I bend it should be right at his chin level. Um, I'm going to grab my bicep to my other, all right, so walk with me. We'll be behind his head. So, and I just squeeze and breathe in. So make sure you hold for two seconds. You don't want to hold this one too long and squeeze in. Um, I know if you're practicing at home, don't, yes. don't actually put anyone to sleep. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to put anybody to sleep. I just want you to practice the technique so you understand it. Can we try to get from the other side? Absolutely. All right. All right. So again, uh, just because the camera is on this side, I'm taking this hand. I'm going to push and I'm going to pull. So the push hand, the push hand is the one that's going to do the sleeper choke. So remember, it's behind the head. All right, walk, walk with me. So we're here, we're here. I'm doing very light, and my other hand is on my bicep. Okay, so that is, and we'll turn to the front. There we go, and let go. All right, so that is how to get someone into a sleeper choke. So now, if you are already in a sleeper choke. Do you want me to put you in a sleeper? So put me in a sleeper, so go ahead, push. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. So you walk me through it. You push. Right. You push, you're going to pull, pull, and then whoop, here I am. Now I am in a sleeper choke. Oh boy. So what I'm going to do, so definitely breathing. Um, but I'm going to chop the groin. I'm going to scratch the base. Ah. I'm going to pull down. Oh. Once I pull down, I'm going to hold this close. I'm going to duck underneath. So my left leg will step around. Notice how straight the arm is when I come out. I still have a grasp on it. I'm going to come up and hook. Make sure that's in place. And then I'm going to put Mr. Stewart into a guillotine. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. So that is the defense against a sleeper choke. Got one more time. So, yes. So I'm going to push here. I'm going to push here. Pull. Mm -hmm. And there I am. So we'll do this from the front. Mm -hmm. So here I am in a sleeper choke. So again, you want to make sure that you can breathe. Okay, so I'm going to hold right here so I can breathe. I'm going to chop the groin. Oh. And then I'm going to scratch the face down. Uh. Come back and hold. Step through underneath. Arm nice and straight. Make sure I lock that in. And the other arm is going to go right into a guillotine. All right, so any questions with this technique, you can certainly uh, contact me. Um, and we can uh, schedule a private to go through that. So as far as advanced, so that would be um, the starting at red belt and up. Uh, that is your technique. Now for those that are in the um, brown belt series, um, cops one through three, um, and then those that are in um, the black bait bath, Black belt, belt rotation. probationary phase. Probation. So you have black belt with a colored stripe. Um, you're going to be doing cops. Um, so I think um, most of you are black with a green stripe. So it will be cops one through seven this week. Um, for my black belts, um, you I would like for you to keep brushed up on cops one through ten. Uh, but we're going to add. Cops 11 through 15 uh, for you to practice at home as well. All right, so as far as cops, um, so remember brown belts just one through three, so we're going to go one through 15. So wherever you are uh, in your curriculum, um, you can go up to there. If you want to challenge yourself and do a couple extra, have at it. All about challenging my students, making sure that you are the best that you can be. All right, so cops number one. So Mr. Stewart, so one, two, I'm going to step aside. I'm going to kind of
kind of just block my face. I want to make sure that the arm is not going to hit me. I don't want it coming back. That's why my hand is here. I'm going to do a vertical punch to the ribs. And then help, help, help. Now at home, I want loud kias. I want super intensity. I am walking through the techniques here, um, but please be careful working with family members and your partners at home, safety. Um, but I want you to ramp it up just a little bit in your intensity. Here I'm training just to make sure you understand the technique and we are not kia-ing because we want to say it, not spray it. So um, when you share your videos uh, with me, um, so I can see what you're doing at home to earn your curriculum stripes. Please, I want loud, intense kias. Okay? Feel free to spray it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can spray it at home. All right, so cops number two. All right, so while I'm here, so one, two. Again, I'm stepping off. I am blocking the arm from hitting me. But now, it's as if I'm holding a jar and I'm coming up to the throat, okay? So we're gonna do these from the other side too, but I want you to get a perspective from one side and then we'll go switch and do them from the other side. All right, number three. So one, two, again, step off, walk, vertical punch, and to the throat. All right, number four is a takedown. Oh, so right. if, if you do not have the space or you cannot go do a takedown safely at home, go through the motions of doing the takedown and then the technique um, that you do afterwards. All right, so in one, two. So then I'm gonna step off, block that arm. I'm gonna punch and hit the throat just like I did in number three. I'm going to grab his lapel. I'm gonna do a sweep. And then it's a punch to the face and a tiger claw to the throat. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> number five, one, two. All right, we're going to again block the arm, just like we've been doing since uh, cops number one. I'm going to come just like cops number two to the throat, but now I'm gonna do what we call pity patter. So I'm gonna grab this arm, I'm going to reach and grab, end up switching hands to grab, and I'm coming with a cross drop as I pull them in. All right, cops number six, you're going to switch. So you've been coming kind of on the outside to keep the arm away from you. Now you're gonna palm heel the arm away from the inside. So cops number six, one, two. So I'm gonna palm heel. I'm going to come with a straight chop and then a back kick and then cover. Cops number seven, one, two, I'm going to palm heel, back fist, bridge hand, help. Okay, so cops eight and nine have a kick involved with them. Number eight is a front thrust kick, and number nine is the roundhouse, okay? So for number eight, you're going to do a front kick. So one, two, I'm going to step back with my right as I come down with a low block. I'm going to come back up with a back fist and a reverse punch to the solar plexus. All right, so number nine is against a roundhouse. So one, two, I'm going to knee elbow block and I'm going to come with a punch, punch, help. Right, and number 10, that was number, no, no, 
number 10. That was number nine. Number 10 is back to a punch. All right, so one, two. So this time I'm coming in with an outside block, so make sure you have your fist. I'm going to chamber for a cross chop, a punch to the solar plexus, and my rear leg is going to do a groin, a front thrust kick to the groin. Good job. Okay. So we'll do cop swing for 10 for the other way. Yes, ma'am. For majority of our students, it will be within the cop swing for 10. All right, so one, two, again, step out, come in with that vertical punch and cover. Give me a good kia and a help. One, two, so cops number two, again, you're blocking. You're coming, you're holding a jar to the throat, cover, help. Cops number three, one, two, block the arm, vertical punch, and to the throat, cover and help. Cops number four, I think we have room. <laughs> All right, one, two, Again, start out the same way, block the arm, vertical punch to the throat, then I'm grabbing and we're going to do a takedown, it's a punch to the face and a tiger claw to the throat. All right, number five is our pitty, pitter patter. So one, two, Again, block, I'm gonna come here. I'm holding the arm and I'm gonna come underneath, hit my, my stomach. I'm going to grab and I'm gonna pull him in as I do a cross chop to the throat. All right, number six. Now we're coming in a little differently. We're gonna do palm heel to the inside. So one, two, I'm going to keep the arm off of me. I'm going to come back with a straight chop. My rear leg is going to do a back kick and I'm going to turn and cover. Now, if you're doing a Yuki for the, for the other side, should we be punching with the other hand or still the same? Because I think it's the same. I think it's the opposite hand that time. Or does it matter? Well, punch with the right. You should be, always be punching with your right it's hand. Me. All right, so number seven, one, two. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna come back with a back fist, and then with a ridge hand to the neck. And then cover and help. All right, number eight, again, this is against the front kick. So as the front kick comes, make sure you step back with your right and do a low block to block that kick. Ready, one, two, here. You're gonna come back with a back fist, the same hand as the low block, and you're gonna turn and reverse punch to the solar plexus. All right, number nine will be the roundhouse. Make sure you do your knee elbow block. So one, two, blocking, and then it's a punch, punch, help. And number 10, against the punch. One, two, I'm gonna be coming in with a, an inside block this time. Chamber, cross chop, reverse punch, and then the front groin kick. Make sure you come back and cover and give me a good help. All right, so that is cops one through 10. Like I said, majority of uh, students will be within one through 10. Uh, for first degree black belts, uh, we're gonna add in 11 through 15. Um, that is what you need to be working on uh, during this time uh, for your next midterm. All right, so one. So these are all against a punch. So two. As I come and get away from the arm, I'm going to side kick the knee, slip kick the body.
body and cover. For 12, it's going to start the same, but you're going to add a sweep. So one, two, so side kick to the knee, flip kick to the body. As you step down, you're going to grab the shoulder. You're going to sweep, take him down, and cover. All right, so for number 13, one, two. This time you're going to do knife hand block and grab. You're going to do a flip kick to the body. You're going to do a palm to the kidney. You're going to, to chamber, and it's a cross chop to the back of the neck. For number 14, you're going to start out the same way, but then you're going to uh, do a side kick to the knee and take them down. One, two. So remember, here, grab, flip kick, palm to the kidney, cross chop. Now, when you're here, you're going to grab the back of their collar. You're going to side kick through their knee. They're going to go down, punch to the face, tiger claw to the neck, punch to the solar plexus, and a slap to the groin, and cover. Number 15. Number 15, I need to think about for just a moment. This one we covered a little bit though. Yes. Uh, this one is also a sweep, but it, it's you're gonna come, it'll be um, hamstring to hamstring on this one. Um, so I'm gonna come again with a flip kick. So one, two, so I'm gonna Palm, I'm going to grab, flip kick, it's going to be a punch to the head, you're going to come in, straight chop to the chest, you're going to grab, you're going to take down, and then it's punch, 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 cover. So a punch to the face, punch to the solar plexus, and a punch to the groin. So from the other side. Yes, ma'am. So again, number 11, one. Which, y'all should be pumped up right now. Yes. <laughs> so are you excited? Okay, we're doing it from the other side. And then we get to get to what? Knife. Knife, woo! So ready. Are you ready? ready. I'm ready. And one, two, so remember, you're, you're guarding, you're not, you're not covering at this point. It's side kick, flip kick, cover. All right, so 12, one, two, again, off, side kick, flip kick, grab the shoulder, sweep, cover. All right, number 13, you're gonna come in with uh, the grab, one, two, so you block, grab, flip kick, palm heel to the kidney, chamber up for a cross chop to behind the neck. All right, number 14, one, two, again, you're gonna block, Grab, you're going to do the flip kick, palm, cross chop. Now while you're here, you're going to grab, this is going to be the side kick to the knee, take them down, punch to the face, tiger claw to the throat, punch to the solar plexus, slap against the groin, cover. And then number 15, one, Two. So again, you're going to block, flip kick, punch. It's going to be a straight chop, grab. 
This is where you're going to move them to the gym. Take them down, punch to the face, punch to the solar plexus, punch to the groin, cover. Alright, so that is Woo! Woo! That's a lot. Cops one through fifteen. <laughs> Both ways. So who's pumped up? Woo! Cops are fun. I, I enjoy the cops. <laughs> Alright, so next up for all our leadership students, we do have knife, um, three and four for the advanced. Um, so um, actually for, for everyone, you can focus on knife three and four for uh, this rotation. All right, so we're gonna start from the back. So again, I feel the knife. My hands are gonna come at knife level. I'm gonna turn, look over my shoulder to see which arm. I see it's in Mr. Stewart's right arm. I'm gonna take a step to get off the, the blade. If I go this way, I'm going to cut my back. So now I know I need to step away from it. So I'm going to take my right leg and step. At the same time, I'm coming with a carry block. I'm grabbing. My right leg again will step under, grabbing the wrist. My left leg will step back. I'm going to bring the knife close to my body and thrust my whole body. One, two, three with the knife. Give me a good help. All right, so right. from the other side. All right, again, hands at knife level. I see it's still in his right hand. So I'm going to step, parry block, grab, step again with my right as I grab the wrist, go underneath the arm, left leg comes back, knife comes to the body. One, two, three, help. All right, number four, this is from the rear. Uh, this is basically a hostage situation. So now the blade is on my carotid artery, not a place that I would like to have it. So instead of moving the arm, I need to pull it down. But keep it close, otherwise you'll have a struggle with the knife and you'll end up getting cut. So I'm gonna hold his hand and wrist down, keep them in place. As I take my right hand, I'm going to pop the elbow forward. My left hand's going to lift the arm up. I'm already here, so I'm going to go into a figure four. Mr. Stewart will go down on the step and hold on to the arm. Make sure you lift him up, put him on their stomach. My knee's gonna go in his shoulder, leg against the thigh, push the hand down. There goes the knife, <laughs> and now it's mine and I can do whatever I want. Okay. So from the other side. All right, so again, it's at my carotid artery. Not a place I want it, so bring it down so it's away from my neck. Other hand, this hand holds, this is my left hand. My other one's popping it forward. Do you see how far away it is from me now? Now I'm going to lift this up, keep the arm nice and bent. As I turn, I'm grabbing my wrist to get into the figure four. As I step, Mr. Stewart goes down. I'm gonna lift him up over his belly, knee in his shoulder, arm against my thigh, bend down, turn, take the knife, and step. So that is your knife defense uh, for this week. For advanced leadership, I'm adding gun three and gun four. So gun number three is from the back of the head. So from here, I need to not be in the line of fire. So to do that, simultaneously, I'm gonna lift my arm up, I'm going to tuck my face in my armpit as I rotate my shoulder over to make sure that my head and my body are out of the line of fire. So again, here, as I step around, I am going to come in above the elbow, 
I'm going to hook the arm. I'm going to take my other hand, I'm going to elbow the face, turn around, grab the gun by the barrel, and the muzzle is going to hit the face. I'm going to hold it close, tap it, re-rack it, call the authorities. All right, so from the other side. All right, so again, it's at my head. I'm going to lift my arm, tuck my head, rotate my shoulder over to get out of the line of fire. When I do that, I'm going to step around, hook the arm, elbow the head, grab the gun, hit the head, keep it close, tap it, re-rack it. <laughs> All right, so that's gun number three. Now, gun number four is also from the rear, but it's at my back. So, my hands will be at gun level. All right, so I also need to see which arm uh, that he's holding the gun, especially on this one. So, I see that I need to take my body, I need to get my whole body off of the line of fire. So, I don't want to get shot, I don't want to get grazed. So make sure to get it all the way off. I'm going to come under and again, grab above the elbow. I'm going to elbow the face, grab the gun, hit the head, tap, re-rack, <laughs> wait for the authorities. All right, so from the other side. All right. I am here. So off the line of fire, so I'm going to step, I'm going to come under, elbow, grab the gun, hit the head with the muzzle, tap it, re-rack it, wait for the authorities. Now when you're practicing with the gun, do not put your finger in the trigger. Bad idea. So I want you to hold the gun down here so we have no injuries to fingers while you are training at home. Uh, so be safe with it. Um, can you put that down for me, sir? Yeah. Excellent. And can you grab the book for me, okay. sir? All right, so remember it's April. So April is goals for your education. So who remembers what a goal is? Ooh, I think I heard it. What did you That's exactly right to want something and be willing to work hard for it. Good job. Good job. I have a textbook definition. I know, perfect. All right, so I just want to reiterate um, for your patch since uh, you're at home and we are actually having you put a warm up together um, for yourselves, at least a five minute warm up. Physical fitness patch is what you will be working on to earn for April. Um, so, real quick, so if you're age four to eight, 100 kicks, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, balance on one foot for 90 seconds, and run a quarter of a mile. Ooh. Nine through 14, learn why exercising is important and what happens if you do not stay physically fit. So you can write that down. 500 kicks within 30 minutes, 15 push-ups, I think you're already there on that, 25 sit-ups, Balance on one foot for 90 seconds and run a half mile. 15 years to adult. Learn how to determine your target heart rate and find your own. Design and lead a workout that accomplishes both aerobic and anaerobic fitness requirements. You can knock this out right now with your warm up. 500 kicks within 30 minutes, 25 push ups, 50 sit ups. Balance on one foot for 90 seconds and run one mile. It is beautiful out there today, nice and warm. So I'm sure that uh, you have plenty of opportunity to get out, get some exercise, and work on your patch. And if for whatever reason you're not able to do the run because uh, you're not able to get out in the, about the neighborhood, when we're all back together, if you've done everything else, worst case, we can always run 34 times around the mat. Yes, 34 times around the mat is a mile. We tested it. <laughs> we measured it. So if you're unable to, to run that mile uh, while we're apart, that's okay. Um, you can certainly do that when we are inside when we get back together. 
Any other thoughts? Did I forget anything? No, ma'am. Okay, so I hope you guys are having fun with this. Uh, we're, we're learning how to do the videos. Um, you know, for me, it's a whole new comfort level for me. Um, it's definitely outside my comfort zone, so I hope you're having fun with it, working hard at home, and we miss you. Absolutely. So please send me your pics, your photos, videos. I want to see what you're doing, and we will catch up in the meantime. In comments. If you got yes. comments, suggestions. Uh, Absolutely. Stuff that you would like to see. Please let us know. So always room for improvement, or if there's something we haven't shown and maybe uh, you want to see, or something you didn't quite get and want to see a little more close up, we can certainly go over that. So thank you for joining us. Come to attention. Yes, ma'am. And bye.